You're about to enter a world of mystery, where everything and anything can be unexpected. You're watching The Unboxing Zone, and uh, based on how nice and sunny it is outside, and the birds are chirping and all that, I probably should be outside instead of hanging around The Unboxing Zone, but, you know, I got stuff to do. So today I got a box, and also another package that's kind of sort of a mystery package, I'll explain in a bit. Um, the first thing here is the Akibento Snacky Box that has Japanese and Korean snacks. This is my last box for a while. I mean, it was cool and all, but you know, kind of just cut some costs and let's uh, let's see what other boxes we can find, you know? It's kind of cool. And um, this box, I do gotta say, is one of those websites where I'm gonna cancel. You're gonna have to like send them an email and of course they gotta, you know, reply and all that. And I mean, they were pretty good. They were pretty quick on it, but I always like, I never liked that, you know? I, I prefer that you have full control. You can actually go in there and cancel whenever you want. I don't want to, like, rely on an email that you may or may not get back or whatever, and of course you're still getting charged. Now, again, this company's very good, and I forgot there was some other company that had to do this. It's been a while. There was at least one other company that you had to cancel by, like, emailing them or whatever, but, um, I don't know. With these sites that kind of come and go, it is kind of scary to end up with one of those, I guess, shady ones where you're never going to get the email back and you're still getting charged, so... Uh, I recommend more sites just let you cancel whatever you want and not do emails, you know. So anyways, the next thing we got here is a shirt that I bought from Pro Wrestling Crate. And obviously if I bought the shirt, I know what it is, but um, nowadays if you buy stuff from Pro Wrestling Crate, if you throw in an extra, uh, I think $1.99 or $2.99 or something, you get an extra doohickey, an extra, I don't know, pin. Uh, a card, a coaster, you know, something, something extra, a fig, no, no, I don't know if it would be a figure, but, but something extra alongside your order. So I did buy something extra, so we'll find out what it is. But first, let's go to the Akibento box, that has the most items, and also let's check it out. And, um, again, no ill will towards Akibento, no, like, I wasn't like, um, how should I say, an unsatisfied customer. It's just that, you know, it's time to cut costs, it's time to go to other boxes, and maybe I'll come back to you guys. So my final box, you guys can see, doesn't fall out that is, all the stuff in the box before I see it. So, let's see what we got. Okay, so. Okay. Oh, well, this, this came to my attention. I got a butter coconut sweet biscuit. And it feels weird. You know how when you grab a ramen package, uh, 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 I can't speak, a ramen package and you kind of feel the noodles in it? This kind of feels like that. It feels like, like ramen noodles when they're not cooked, but I assume it's, it's a biscuit. So it has, that, it has a coconut and I guess it's a lime or something. So maybe I'll try it out because I do try out at least one or two snacks on camera. I'll probably try this one out unless something else catches my eye. So, we've got some kind of chips of something. I don't know. There's always a spoiler thing, so I'll find out what it is, but interesting. Then we've got peach. Oh, this is like peach gummies. I'm not sure if I got this before or something similar, but these are probably like peach flavored gummy things. So that's interesting. That's pretty cool. And let's see, I'm trying to organize. I don't have repeats. Oh, these are more of those Ramoon candies. I think one of the ones I got was uh, like a Ramoon candy thing. But now it's like a whole bunch of them instead of just one. And I don't know what this little box, it comes to the next little box here. So I don't know like what the extra box does or whatever. And it's whistle candy, yeah. They put it in your mouth, you can blow it, it does, it does kind of whistle. And... Wait, what? Oh. I got two of them. Um, okay, interesting. And... Let's see what else I got. Then I got this. Rice cake with cheese sauce. That's interesting. So that's like, a. Uh, like one of those microwave dinner things, I guess, but like it's not like ramen or anything. It's like an actual something something. It's got like, I don't know. 
It looks like pieces of shrimp or something. I, I don't know. Jeez. Oh, thank God it's in English. Um... Oh, yeah. Uh, place the rice cake and soup base inside the cup. Pour water. Over. Okay, so it's kind of prepared similar to uh, ramen and stuff. So, uh, interesting. Um, cheese sauce, topoki recipe. That's that's interesting. That's the most interesting thing I've gotten so far and everything. And, um, <clears throat> I think that is all except for the, uh, spoiler thing. So, um, yeah. Um, I think, I'm not sure if it's Beijing or Beijing, I'll say Beijing and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Beijing blue Korean rice cake with cheese. So this is the Korean meal of the day. And then, Korean traditional cookie, go, what? J Jian, J it's like double J, I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, Janjia, a uh, crispy round cookie snack. One of the most popular Korean snacks, very flavorful and addicting. So these aren't chips, these are little cookies. They look like chips. I guess, Korean traditional cookie. Then we've got the uh, butter coconut biscuit, which was this thing. Butter coconut biscuit, our mouth-watering mix of gentle butter and nutty flavors. Enjoy these with coffee or tea. And then, of course, a whole bunch of... Uh, Ramune whistle candy, Japanese Ramune candy, very similar that um, melt in your mouth, chalky goodness of sweet tarts, hold these candies in your mouth and blow them to hear the whistle, and there's even a little surprise for you, which is of course this little box. I don't know, because if I, if I open it, I gotta put these things away somewhere, so. Uh, number five, Yalkin Peach Gummy. Yalkin peach gummies are 18% real fruit juice. Um, the gummies an extreme chewy texture with a long-lasting sweet tart peach flavor. That sounds kind of similar to what we had before. So, um, I don't know. Real quick, let's try the uh, biscuit. It looks like it's going to have a couple of them in there, so of course I'll try one. And I'll try the uh, Korean traditional cookies because, you know, let's respect other traditions, right? So, uh... Whenever this opens. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of them in here. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it looks like regular cookies. They'll just have, you know, their own little flavor, of course. But it's like this. And, um, not sure the camera can pick it up, but it's, they're kind of glazed. You kind of see that kind of shiny glaze to it and everything. So, uh, you know. Hmm. Very good. Um, I'm not sure I can taste the coconut per se, but you know it's a cookie. Cookie's a cookie. It's it's a uh, it's good. So now we'll try the uh, traditional Korean cookie that's like cakes and that are they look like chips. There we go. I don't want to break up the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Does this look like a cookie to you? It's like a fucking chip, like a, like a kind of weird pork rind chip. Like, our cookies are different, you know? Hmm. Pretty good. Okay, so now that I'm done stuffing my face with cookies and stuff from different countries, let's, uh, get the shirt here. And, uh, it's pretty cool. It's a wrestler I kind of sort of tolerate, but uh, I had to go for the design. You'll probably understand why I did it once you see the shirt. Let me see if I can somehow pull out the shirt without seeing the, uh, the thing. But yeah, check it out. So, like, I don't know why they do that. They have um, wrestlers for a certain time. Like, for example, in this case, Kevin Steen had his uh, merchandise for a while. And, um, sadly, by the time you see it, it might be gone already, but, um, eh, you might bring them back, you know. But, yes, this is basically, like, um, Steam Fighter 5, or Steam Fighter K. Yeah, it's a K. And, of course, it's designed in the style of Street Fighter 5. So, um, 
Yeah, Kevin Steen is someone I could kind of sort of tolerate, and of course, I love Street Fighter everything, even though it's a parody, I just had to get it. Alright, so let's see what the mystery thing is here. Ah, oh, there we go, ah. Oh. Ah, uh, got another one of those uh, Pro Wrestling Tees refrigerator magnets. Haven't got those in a while. That's pretty cool. And, um, again, there's an extra freebie. I got this, uh, uh, yeah, I think I already got this. I think I do. It's, um, Shockmaster, Shock the World, with, of course, a guy that really botches entrance with his lame, um, like, glitter-colored Stormtrooper helmet or whatever. But, um, I'm pretty sure he got this, but... I guess it's worth having too, I don't know. But yeah, that's kind of the risky take because you never know, it's a past item from previous boxes and stuff like that. So, um, you know, that's the risky take. It is interesting. If I buy another shirt, I might actually buy it with another item to see what's in it because it's pretty cool. These guys are cool. Cool merchandise. And of course, cool shirt and everything. So anyways, guys, um, I wrap this up with a cool new shirt and with some delicious... Oops, sorry. With some delicious Korean cookies and biscuits and things. And we'll see you next time for the next box.